Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're going to talk about four different ways to make biochar. Biochar is basically wood or other woody debris that is burned in a fire, but not to the point where it's completely ash. It's sort of like charcoal. Now, it's used to make what's called terra preta or African dark earth soil, where you use compost and biochar combined. The simplest way, and we're going to go over a few different ways, the simplest way is pictured here, where you dig a hole and you burn the material. And as it's halfway through burning and the smoke starts to change color from a white to more of a grayish color and it gets less smoke, that means the water has left, or most of the water vapor has evaporated away. Then you cover it with about an inch of soil, let it smolder away, and then drench it with water. And here's a closer look of this picture here. And this is from Mother Earth News, and there's some details in this four-page article. Of course, it will be linked in the description. Here's another way to do it. Now, they're using wood chips here in three different size barrels. Fill up the bottom barrel. There's a couple small holes in here just to allow enough air to go through the material and, and burn. But you don't want too much air because then it'll lose a lot of the carbon. This barrel is set on top. And the middle little one is put in between. It sort of creates a uh, rocket stove effect and burns as much of the material as possible without releasing the carbon. And here's another way where you take a 50-gallon burn drum. Make sure you put some holes in it along one side. Otherwise, the buildup of the vapor could cause a little explosion. That's no fun. Put a couple of bricks next to a fire to stabilize it. Put the hole side down towards the fire and look as the gases start to escape as the gases become less abundant that means that most of the water vapor is gone and you just put some sand, move it off to the side put some sand around it to stop air from moving through the barrel and then put the next barrel on if you want to make more biochar here is backyardbiochar.net and they have well it's a powerpoint presentation on a type of kiln, a flame cap kiln. And here's also some pictures of it. And using corn stalks, rice, straw, they use bamboo and lawn stoking methods here. You wanna stoke the fire, but the key is you don't want a lot of oxygen. And the, the fire on top prevents oxygen coming in from the top and the sealed sides prevent it coming in from the bottom or the sides. They call it a flame cap kiln. This could be a decent way if you have welding skills to create a reusable kiln so you don't have to dig a hole every time. Or if you have a barrel sitting by, hey, use that. There's all sorts of ways you can make biochar and help improve your soil. And the key to improving the soil is, of course, the spongy-like porous nature of biochar. It helps retain nutrients, and, which will prevent them from running off whenever it rains. And uh, will also help improve the biological life in the soil, the fungi, the beneficial bacteria, and such. I'm going to link to these articles in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.